Today we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve some quadratic equations. So first, how do you know it's a quadratic equation? If you look at the exponents of an equation, if your largest exponent is a 2, it's a quadratic equation. So here's the quadratic formula. It uses a, b, and c. a and b are coefficients, so whatever the coefficient is here, that's a. And you know what? When it's not written, it's, it's 1. So the coefficient a is 1, b is two, uh, 7, and c is this constant at the end. C is 12. All right, now let's use the formula. The formula says x equals negative b. So negative b would be negative 7, since b is 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared. b is 7, so 7 squared is 49, minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times 1 is still 4 times the c is 48, all over 2a, and a is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. All right, that's actually our solution, we just need to simplify it. So 49 minus 48 is 1, and since the square root of 1 is just 1, we can get rid of the square root sign. Now don't leave your solution like this. Actually plus and minus and figure out what it is. So negative 7 plus 1 would be negative 6. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So that's one of our solutions. Negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8. And negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. So there's our two solutions. Let's look at another one. This one's actually not ready to use the quadratic formula on yet. To use quadratic formula, you need to make sure that the other side of the equation is equal to zero. So we can fix that. If we add 9 to each side, we could rewrite this equation as x squared minus 4x plus 9 equals 0. Now we're ready to use the quadratic formula. Here's a, it's a 1 again, b is negative 4, and c is 9. So negative negative 4, which would be the negative b, is a positive 4. Plus or minus, negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times a, that'd be 4, times 9, that'd be uh, 36. So minus 36, all over 2 times 1. All right, on this one, when we simplify what's under the square root, we end up with a negative number. This means we're going to have non-real solutions. So. To fix that, the first thing you do is bring out an i. That will make our square root positive. So let's do that up here. 4 plus or minus. You know, I'm actually going to write this square root as negative 1 times 4 times 5. These three numbers, negative 1, 4, and 5, multiply to be a negative 20. But what's the square root of negative 1? i. And what's the square root of 4? 2. So you could rewrite this as 4 plus or minus 2i rad 5 all over 2. Now when we look at these, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2i rad 5 divided by 2 is just i rad 5. So what we've done is we've canceled the 2 in the denominator, or we've divided out the 2 in the denominator from this binomial in the numerator. So there's our solutions, 2 plus i rad 5 and 2 minus i rad 5. Let's look at another example. So in this example, we're already ready to use the quadratic formula because the equation is set equal to 0. So a is 1, b is 6, and c is 2. So let's use the formula. 
negative b would be negative 6. b squared is 36. Uh, minus 4 times 1 times 2. That's 8. And 2a will be 2 times 1. When we simplify what's under the square root, we get 28. Okay. It's 4 times 7. We can rewrite 28 as 4 times 7. Since 4 is a perfect square, we can bring it outside the radical sign, and we get a 2. Okay, there's still some simplification we can do here. Um, you can factor a 2, a positive 2, out of this binomial in the numerator. So if we factor out a 2, 2 times what is negative 6, negative 3, and 2 times what is 2 rad 7, just rad 7. So since there's a 2 as a factor in both the numerator and denominator, we can cancel it out. And we end up with the solutions negative 3 plus or minus rad 7. So this solution contains a square root, but since it doesn't have an i, it's just considered a real solution.